What's up YouTube? It's Tito here and I'm in a very interesting place right now. I'm about to go inside. Uh, it's a little expensive for my taste but I'm really interested in it and I didn't know anything about this until I got here. Uh, it's right outside of Tucson, Arizona and it's a really cool place. I don't know if I can record in there or not. I may be able to take pictures. I'm going to see what I can do when I get in there because I really want to take you along with me and I want you to hear a little bit about this place. I did a little bit of researching before I came out here because I heard they don't really tell you the, the backstory to some of this place. Uh, so I did a little researching before I even came here to know what I'm looking at and everything. So I think this is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to take you along with me. If I can't record, then I'll just let you know about it uh, when I come back out. So yeah, here we go. <music> Told you this is gonna be an interesting place. Just wait. Just wait. job growing food I showed you where the gardens were and they also had to recycle their air and their water and their waste and in 94 there was another group that lived in the building but it wasn't quite as large only a group of seven and they didn't stay as long they were in there six and a half months but they did exactly the same thing the first group was doing you know, growing food and recycling. Now that second group, they were supposed to have been in the building for a year, but the owner brought them out early. And the reason he did, there wasn't anything new coming out of that second group. And you know what? He didn't feel like it would be cost effective to maintain this big building and not learn anything new from it. So he brought them out. 
and that's when he decided to change directions out here. He decided to use his building for research, and he invited a university to come out, manage his building, and do that research, and that was Columbia from New York. All right, we just finished the guided tour. Now we're on our own self-guided tour. And hopefully if my phone doesn't die, I'll be able to show you where the people lived at that stayed here during the experiment. So yeah, hopefully I'll get to show you that. This is cool. So this is their kitchen. I didn't get a chance to record an ending to this video because obviously the phone died and then now well, this is two days later so I want to go ahead and record this so I can get this video up to you all hopefully this weekend. So my experience in the Biosphere 2 is pretty awesome. I, it was very interesting to me and I didn't know anything about it which is crazy like this huge experiment is going on that other normal people don't really know about and it could have been on the news back when it happened in like 1994 or the first experiment but I was obviously younger then so I didn't know anything about it but I still think it was pretty cool. So the first experiment they had like eight people go into it and they closed the doors which was pretty cool to walk through these doors that can be sealed airtight into this building that has everything in there that you could need. And then they did another experiment like two years later I guess it was after they finished their two year in there and it was very in interesting like I said look it up and read it for yourself during the tour he doesn't talk too much about all the logistics and everything that went on while they were in there too much and uh, the failures that people claim that they had which I don't you know a failure really just means it's a learning experience and for you to try it again uh, with what you've learned so it's not like an ending type of a thing uh, so I guess that's why they tried it again the second time but supposedly the people that were in charge said the second time wasn't really yielding any other results than what the first time did, so they ended it early. That's what the guy said. When I looked it up online before I went there, basically a lot of drama happened during that second time. Mismanagement. Uh, and then two people from the first experiment kind of sabotage or help others escape type of a thing. Very interesting. Like I said, look it up if you can. Read Wikipedia and then there's like some other websites that have the same story. So that part is very interesting to me. That's why I was really excited to go see because it's like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, the video you watch when you first go in there for the tour, it kind of felt like in those sci-fi movies where they're showing you like genetic modification and DNA mutation and blah, 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 blah. And they got the people that look happy and, you know. So I was just thinking about that during the, the video. Uh, it's a very interesting place. They have like all these different habitats there. The lungs are really cool because if you've seen in the video, that's uh, that huge saucer shaped type of a thing with the black, um, is it concave roof? That's the lungs. And basically that thing, and they didn't know this was going to happen, I guess. I don't know. Because I couldn't really hear them too well in there because of the echo. But the air came down into that shaft and it lifted that. 20 ton thing up and it sits in the air and it's only it's lifted by air and at the end of the night they have to bring it down or else it'll like collapse the inside of the building the way the air flows so it has to come down at night but that was pretty crazy to see and how big that was um really cool place like i said if you're ever in the area check it out there's a five dollar coupon on their website uh groupon uh, has coupons and stuff on there normally is what I've been told but it didn't have any when I went to go so the five dollars worked for me uh, I just showed them on my phone I didn't have to print it off or anything 
they had a lot of solar stuff on the outside that you can read and check out. Um, that was very interesting. Like I said, I highly suggest going, or if anything, just look it up and see what's been built here <laughs> and what they were trying to accomplish. Apparently, they are creating basically the same thing, but for on another planet. So instead of like figuring out here first and, and getting that straight because they couldn't really figure it out because like the oxygen levels are dropping and planets were dying and this and that. They couldn't regulate it so they didn't recreate this biosphere because the earth is a beautiful creation and they have not recreated it yet. Um, although the biosphere too is a, a good attempt at it, they still could not recreate it fully. They had to adjust it, and it, at that point, it wasn't a controlled environment. So they're trying to build these same type of habitats on another planet. If you've seen The Martian, then you've seen basically the idea of it, which I'm pretty sure the people who created The Martian probably went to this research facility and looked at what they had uh, to use real-life um, research for the movie. And, you know, just has these little tubes running out of this middle thing and you know inside of this place where you can see uh, models and replicas of this they have a replica of the inside of the greenhouse tube and that was very interesting so they're trying to do this on another planet although they have not figured out how to do it here yet but again we're still using non-renewable resources for everything or almost everything when we can be using renewable resources and you know have a good place to live right now but we're not because of that that money and also two people from the first experiment actually got married afterwards and while they were in there they created like a business and these ideas and stuff but i guess they had two years to do that because there's nothing else to do really except check on everything while you're in there when i was talking to you about the blimps and amazon's wi-fi and everything like that i found out that there's this this capsule type of a thing and there's this balloon that holds it up and it takes it into outer space and people can pay like 17,000 or more dollars to ride this thing you can wear your normal clothes and there's windows around this capsule type of a thing that you can look out and see in outer space well this couple are actually the founders of the company that have created this thing that's very interesting too I don't know I really think we need to figure things out here first before we try and go somewhere else but you know I guess the people with money have already figured it out for themselves <laughs> I don't know, it was very interesting if you're into like self-sustainability or anything like that. I highly suggest checking it out. Although I really wish I could have shown you their living quarters. Like they had a, the apartment. You could look through the window and see the apartment uh, down from that kitchen area and their little eating area and everything like that. I really wish I could have shown you all because it was really cool to see. But... I think leaving it like that was good so that I wouldn't spoil everything about the place. So when you go, you can see it for yourself. Um, you can look it up, but I don't know if there's really pictures of like their apartments and stuff online. Uh, but you can try and look it up if you really want to. But I suggest going there and seeing it with your own eyes. Like I said, I highly suggest going if you're ever in the area. Or just look it up and check it out and see what you think about it. And then let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.